Hey, I don't think you need a hysterectomy. <laughs> hey, man, you got to take beat that one out. <laughs> That's right. That my You're going to have to. Dude. Yeah. You're really going to have to look. <laughs> okay. okay, well, we have Tommy here. Hi, Tommy. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. Happy New Year. Same to you, Tommy. Yes, Tommy sees me every couple of months, right? Yes. Yes, yes. So. Tell me about your problem here. That's not allowing you to walk straight, right? So oh, we have to. I have to give you the brace. Yes, yeah, so you back can clear in the toes, right? I had yes. a stroke. Oh, you had a stroke, right? Okay. Back in my left side. Uh huh. Left side weakness. Your hand too, huh? Yes. Yeah. So we're just gonna cut the nails. He has some calluses here that we're gonna get to as well. You can see some here. You can see some there because because of his problem on this side, he's putting a lot more weight on this side. So we're gonna do both, right, Tommy? Yeah, Doc. Mm -hmm. And because of uh, the muscle you tone, uh -huh. uh, what do they call it when your foot wanna turn over on this side? That foot wanna turn up in this shoe. I think it's self-flex. I'm not for sure. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Okay. So were you were you working back then? Like, yeah, I was the builder inspector for the city of Long Beach. Oh, were you really? Oh, wow. So that that requires a lot of walking. <laughs> yeah. Right. So all of a sudden you can't walk now. Yeah. Oh wow. And, you know, I uh, I can walk only because of the muscle tone. Uh huh. Uh huh. They told me that would allow me to walk because every time I move, the tone kicks in and strengthens the foot and the leg. Oh, okay. So I'm able to put a little weight on it. Yeah, you have the brace to hold this foot up, though, right? Yes. Yeah, that's that's though. working well. Oh yeah, it's uh, you know, Doc, when you put stuff up on the bottom of your foot, then mm -hmm. it tends to uh, irritate it. Yeah, it's hard to walk with it, huh? Yeah, right? and that's what makes the muscle tone kick in, uh -huh. and the foot turns over on its side. Mm -hmm. Thus, the rubbing in the shoe and. Yeah. Because I. That's why you're getting the corn right here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can see there's a corn over here as well, but there's really no hard callus here. It's almost kind of a bubbled up look to it. But it... And being on blood thinners, I think that might have something to do with it also. I'm not for sure. Yeah. The it's... skin is a lot thinner right here. Yeah. So you've been on a blood thinner since then? Oh, yeah. Because of the stroke? Yes. Yeah. What are, you, what are you taking? What What is it? Uh, Coumadin. Oh, Coumadin, okay. Yeah, so I have to be careful not to cut you. Because <laughs> you're going to bleed. Man, so pressure's on me. <laughs> pressure's on. So that kind of changed your life, huh? Oh, yeah, somewhat, yeah. So you have to retire and everything, huh? Yeah, they pushed me into retirement because... Um, when I was doing therapy, they happened to walk in and, you know, I was on my knee trying to shift my weight. Uh -huh. And uh, fell over on my side, onto my back. and Oh, really? Yeah, my supervisor and director knew then that uh, it was a wrap, so they just shook their head and walked on out and told me that, uh, you know, pushed me into retirement. That's it, huh? That's it. All the way then, you you weren't at quite the time of the retirement yet, huh? No, I was forty nine. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's still young. Yeah. So, did you have a heart problem, or how did you get the no, stroke? Doc, um, I think it was really uh, talking to a chiropractor. And I explained to him that I was in a car accident, got spun around. Oh, you did. And then when you, you know, go to the chiropractor, they did a neck adjustment. Uh huh. And because of the vessels and arteries in the neck, the clots was, uh, it was two of them, both my, under the armpit of my right arm. Oh, so when was that accident? Um, 99. 99? Yeah, March of 99. Uh-huh. And, and I the... first had an episode September of 99. The stroke? No, I just had a... Uh, pain in my right arm. Oh, okay. And I guess the clot was forming then. Mm -hmm. So I went back to work and then uh, February. That's when the stroke happened? Up. 
I'm sorry? No, I, I called 911 because I couldn't swallow water. Oh, really? I had excruciating pain in my right arm. Mm -hmm. About the time I got to the hospital, the doctor stuck a, a needle in my arm and said it was forming a compartment. Oh, really? And if they didn't hurry up and do surgery, I would uh, probably lose my arm. Oh, really? Wow. So I woke up four days later in intensive care, and uh, that's when the nurse explained to me that after the surgery I was recovering, she came and talked to me, and she noticed my speech was being slurred. Oh. So they knew then that I was probably having a stroke, so they shot me, rushed me down, and put me in the hyperbaric chamber. Oh, okay. And then and that fresh uh, pure oxygen saved most of my brain tissue. Oh, really? And my arm. Oh, wow. Because when I woke up four days later, I still had my arm, but they had to do a hysterectomy to cut it open and remove what they thought was the clot. Oh, really? Where? In your arm? Yeah, it was under here. Oh, really? They oh, thought wow. that the clot was actually in my arm. Hmm. So when they did the hysterectomy, I mean hysterectomy, duh, fashion out of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think you need a hysterectomy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you got to take beat that one out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know my you're going to have to, dude. Yeah, you're really going to have to look. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay, so yeah. they think they had the clot there. Yeah. Okay, and then did they find anything or what, what happened? No, it just healed, well, you know, with the clouds being up under the armpit. Uh -huh. And they say, of course, that was unusual. They had never seen nothing like that. Right, that's very unusual. Yeah, and it just so happened that years later, talking to the chiropractor, and he would say, well, I'm not going to mess with your upper part because that could easily cause another clot. Oh, yeah. I said, whoa, man. So I finally found out that maybe that neck adjustment might have done it because of all the arteries and veins in the neck. Yeah, wow. So you're not, pretty. You're yeah. pretty healthy though at the time. Like, uh, oh yeah. I'm you weren't taking any medications or. No, I was riding ten speeds, playing softball. Like, really, wow. Driving my little Porsche. Oh, nice. <laughs> but you know, being a bachelor, I wouldn't. Oh, you're you're a bachelor. You're you a single know. guy. Yeah, I was single at the time. I was just, uh, you know, enjoying social life. Right, right. Wow. <laughs> so that was a shocker. So how much uh, rehab did you have to do? Oh, I did rehab for what? Uh, March until October. March to October, about six months? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, they said that once they get you up on your feet, you know, uh, you hit that plateau on the monthly meetings, I mean weekly meetings with the doctors and the therapists uh -huh. and the insurance, they, they figure they can re release it to your support group. Uh huh. So a lot of people have the same problem, huh? Yeah. You have a support group? You still go? <laughs> no, I joined the support group and it was over at the church and it was help because I was able to see how different strokes affect different people uh -huh. in different ways. Right, right. One gentleman there, uh, his stroke left him voiceless. Oh, really? But he did acupuncture, and now they can't keep him quiet. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, acupuncture works really well for a lot of this. Yeah, and that's another thing, Doc. I was going to ask you about that. I know it's a lot of tone has to do with this foot. Uh -huh. But do you think acupuncture can actually help? Yeah, I think so, because it opens up all the nerve channels and everything else. You know, my father-in-law just passed couple months ago but he was an acupuncturist and he was teaching me a lot of, of, of the things and I was reading a lot about it too. I think it's very good for a lot of uh, neurological problems you know and, yes. and, and I think it would be very helpful for that and also the oxygen tank which we have upstairs is very helpful for those things as well so I do recommend definitely looking into. Would you know, you know a good acupuncturist? Yes we have one here we have one here, so I'll refer you to an acupuncturist. So we'll do that. This is very thick, so I'm just going to grind it down. Yeah, I think the oxygen tank will be very helpful even now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do it every week. I just released a video of me doing the oxygen tank every Monday. 
In fact, I just bought a tank for my house. So I'll be doing it on the weekend as well. I'm trying to do it every day, but it's not easy. You know, I told it. What is it? Where are we on the road, huh? Huh? Hey, you guys make sure you beep out there. That's the record. Yeah. Good day, sir. Happy Ray Chamber, it's about a hundred dollars a visit. But uh, we give a lot of discount for our patients. Yeah, the hyperbaric oxygen will be very helpful and we give good discount for our patients. So, in fact, I'm going to give you a free visit just to check it out and test it out, okay? Okay, and then if you like it, if you enjoy it, and it would definitely be helpful. So, let's do that. And then the acupuncture. One day I was with uh, my uh, late uh, father-in-law. Mm -hmm. He was doing treatments at my LA office back then. This was years ago. And a patient with the, um, like a, um, her face completely had a stroke and then her face started turning. Yeah. Yeah. And she walked in. Instead of going to the ER, she said she came to us. So he put like literally five needles on it on on the hand of this lady mm. and the face straightened out within three minutes mm. right in front of my eyes i couldn't believe it so mm. i i became a firm believer of acupuncture right in front of my eyes uh -huh. Really, yeah. Uh, acupuncture is really powerful um, medicine. Probably one of the most powerful medicine known. You know, so I think it's very, absolutely. I think it's. I believe in it. I, I studied it. I don't practice it, but I think it's an excellent way to. So we have one uh, very good acupuncture uh, doctor comes here. So I think it's a very good thing for you to look into. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Looking a lot better. So. Now that toe there, the next to the big toe on the right foot, Doc. Uh -huh. Yeah, that nail. Uh -huh. That down is. Because that tend to seem to grow, start growing, look crazy. Yeah. But it's all right, though. Yeah, it looks fine now. Okay. Looks fine now. Okay. Looking very good. So thank you for allowing us to film you today. I'll get you some hyperbaric oxygen treatments for you, and then acupuncture. That'd be really helpful for you. Okay. okay. Thank yeah. you. As long as don't forget, you got to beep out that. <laughs> <laughs> that hysterectomy. Yeah. <laughs>